Yo, 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 what's good, guys? It's State here with PPG, and uh, I got second place at the 1K at the main event. I uh, know it wasn't the main event or anything, but I, I came pretty close in the main event. I started 401, and then I forgot to unside, and I I, I wasn't going to finesse the guy out of the win. I, I showed him. I unside. I didn't unside, and I skipped that game, and then I went to game two. I lost game two, but... Then I ended up losing one of the last few rounds and I didn't top. But I still had a fun event and then I went into the 1K. I did relatively well, I got second after uh, winning at table one the last round. So it was pretty good. So I played the same deck, Danger Thunder, but I changed a few cards, worked a lot better than the previous list. So let's just go ahead and see. All right, perfect. So let's see, three Jack Jack, three Nessie, three Snake, one Foot, nothing changed here. I was playing Thunderbird. Uh, shout out to my friend uh, David Haggerty that uh, told me about that. Uh, Thunderbird is clean um, in a pure, purely Sky Striker and Salad Migrate meta, which it was, but I wanted to cut it back down to 40. I was playing 42 at the main event, uh, but I cut it down to 40 to make it more consistent. So All right. that was that. And then Thunders, of course. Uh, Thunder Race just the same. Three Thunder Dragon, two of these, two Roar, and one Hawk. I was playing two Hawk in the main event. That, it, it was. On and off, um, I miss the second off sometimes, but like most of the times, you just wanted to make your deck as close to 40 as possible so you could see the, the baby dragons. Uh, this definitely was correct in all aspects, so you can add back duo a lot of the time. So the the double roar worked out for you? Yeah, double roar over over double hawk, definitely okay. 100%. And you see it more, sorry, you jump. And you definitely. play one duo? Yeah, okay. one duo. And then uh, three solars, uh, and then three. Sky Blaster, six normals, wouldn't okay. play any less. And then same baby dragon ratio and big dragon ratio. Of course, this card this card is unreal. I decided to play Pitsy this time, and because I played this, Pitsy is not real. That card is stupid dumb. And then I mean if you have it, play it. Yep. Uh, these three, same, and then I decided okay. to play, instead of the uh, Goliath and Dark Matter package, I played it a different way, so I was able to play Defrag, and this card is nuts. Um, I would like to play a second one at times, but the, it can become clunky at times, so one was fine. I, it came up when I needed to, and when I saw it, it, it was amazing. And then three Pot of Greed, we were always playing Pot of Greed. 40 card deck, extra deck, uh, two Colossus, uh, the third doesn't come up. Uh, for me, anyway, it came up actually once, but I mean, I still won that game anyway. And then the Hot Red Dragon for the combo, and mm -hmm. then the Exceed instead of the Dark Matter package, I played Hope Harbinger. Uh, Ooh. Usually, the end board usually ends on one to two Colossus. Was it one to two Colossus, Hot Red, Hope Harbinger, and then the Heretic Link? And that way, you have a bounce, a spawn negate, a hard negate, and then what you summon off of. Um, the Heretic Link is a Goliath, and then this protects it from battle since it's 0-0, zero, because zero, you can just redirect every attack to this. So that that should be game. <laughs> like That's disgusting. Yeah, it's not. It also stops Widow Anchors. That's, that's pretty yeah. nice. Uh, and then uh, Link Spider for the um, Phantom Sky Blaster, Summon Sork, and Repro, uh, Phoenix and Unicorn. Uh, I still think this card's really, really good, like for grinding. Uh, and then, of course, uh, LP, Iger Paint, and then we also play Pitsy because we play the prize card. This card is nuts. I underestimated this card. Every time I was able to summon it, it came up and it did what it needed to do. It was absolutely perfect. Okay. Definitely. If you have the prize card, you could you should still play it, but um, sometimes you I even used it without the prize card and it was just dumb. Uh, the Heretic Link, this card is dumb. Um, definitely should be playing this if you're not. And then two star Ujum. And then that's it for the extra deck. Uh, Side deck, side deck didn't change much. Three prank tops, uh, three Phantasma, three Lancia, and then the only thing that changed uh, for me was uh, Sphere Mode. Ooh. Uh, because the Pendulum deck was very, very, very popular, and I did not want to lose to that. Uh, and it's also, of course, good for the mirror and good for any just combo decks like the, the Orcus deck. Uh, definitely, definitely good. And then three twin. Standard. Okay. So, yeah. Um, that's it for the profile. Uh, shout out to my boy Aaron for, who's recording. Uh, shout out to PPG, of course. And th the event was so much fun. Thank you guys for making it a success. Um, definitely want to see you guys at more of these because Machado and the crew are definitely working to make it 
so much more of an experience. Even though it already was just a fantastic experience, we're making it even better for season two. So you guys definitely should come out for those. And of course, uh, shout out to everybody I saw at the event. Shout out to um, Avery who couldn't come. I miss you. Uh, shout out to, A I saw Aaron. Shout out to Cam Neal for winning. Uh, shout out to Hani and his brother. Chilled with them for a bit. Shout out to Taylor Wallace. Love you, bro. Thank you for taking me up from the airport. And shout out to everybody else I saw. And that's it, guys. Uh, don't forget to uh, bling blah.